Uh, Mario, one of the uh, uh, guiding um, uh, obsessions of my intellectual life has been the question not what is the ultimate uh, final theory of physics and not how did the brain work, although I've been interested in both, of course, and not even whether God exists, but why is there anything at all? Um, and it, it, at one level, it seems like the, you can't begin to even answer that question. Uh, but then philosophers, um, physicists, uh, begin to try, to try to approach that question. How, how, how would you do it? So let me first say, I do not know why there is I would hope anything not. at all. I do not know. <laughs> uh, however, there is one thing that I can say. And that is that, you see, when we look at our universe, for example, the total energy of our universe is zero. Namely, there is positive energy that is in mass, in energy, radiation, and there is negative energy in gravity. And the two of those add up to zero, which means that our universe appearing out of nothing does not violate any kind of conservation of energy or something like this. Now, we also know that quantum mechanics allows for processes such as tunneling, which is being used in electronics and so on, which means you know, if I have a barrier here and I send a particle here in classical physics, it would not pass through. In quantum mechanics, because the particle is more like a wave, there is a probability that it will pass through even if it doesn't have enough energy right. to overcome right. this barrier. So, since the total energy is zero and things can tunnel, then it is possible that even though there was something that you would call nothing, and I mean nothing at all, that could tunnel to a situation where you actually have a geometry, like our universe, still with zero energy. That is allowed by the laws of physics that we know. I don't need to invoke new laws of physics. Now, in physics, what we have learned that basically everything that is allowed happens. And so our universe could literally appear out of nothing for no reason. So there is no answer to the question why there is. Why? Because it could. So, but that is an answer. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but that's it. Because it could, not because, you know, there was any purpose or, you know, any such thing. Well, let's look at each part of that. The first, the first is the, the, uh, the zero net en energy, energy. In, the, uh, in existence. Now, it seems like it's a cheat to say gravitational energy is negative and so you can zero it out. Why is gravitational energy negative? Oh, it's negative because if I have two objects here and I want to separate them, which means to bring them to zero energy, right. I need to put in energy to do that. Right. But that means that now they have a negative energy yeah. because to bring them to zero, I need to put energy. So gravitational energy is negative. There's no cheating about that. Okay, and so, and then, and so how are you then sure the total is zero because you're measuring them in different ways. Right. Well, in, 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 as far as we can tell, I should have added no, the word. Okay. As far as we can well, tell, you can add the, that on to every sentence. the total yeah. energy is is zero. As and, far as we can tell. And and, yes. and how how are we? Well, basically, it? from the fact you know that what we know about our universe, you know that it is flat, and all, all these things that we have learned from the cosmic microwave background, and mm. you know, the energies that we can measure, mm. and, and so on, we can tell that, as far as we can tell, the total energy is zero. Okay, now, uh, to get a, 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 a universe from nothing, you've described the process, and I've heard, heard it described before, but what you're starting with doesn't sound a lot to me like nothing. It sounds like the laws of quantum physics. Yeah, it's a quantum foam, uh, you know, yeah, yes. Yeah, so, <clears throat> that's not nothing. That's something. That mean, yeah. That means something, but but it's it's nothing in the sense of that there is no geometry in particular, right. because our universe has a geometry. Yes, there's no yeah. geometry, but it is a geometry generating mechanism. In in principle, yeah, there could be a uh, through the tunneling you generate this yeah. this. Uh, and 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 now, that, mind you, I as I said from the beginning. 
this is all speculation. Well, of course, we of don't course, know how, of how this We like happened. speculation. That's okay. We, uh, but 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 my concern is it's speculation and very interesting and it may be right, but it's not answering the question. The, the question is why is there something rather than nothing? And 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 you're uh, and my answer is that I do not know. I I, I only can say that. Because you're starting with... According to the laws of physics that I know, right, right. this was possible. Right. But right. why it is, I don't know. Right. But but even but the laws of physics, uh, 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 if we have quantum physics, which is the generator, whether it's the indeterminate principle or whatever it is that is part of the, qu the quantum physics, is very complicated. I've, I've, you know, I haven't studied... It is I've very looked complicated. At, I've looked at quantum physics, quantum theory. You know, it's big, big, big textbooks it's people write. It's not only complicated, it, it is also in many, in many respects counterintuitive. Right, right. It allows right. for things which we don't see in everyday life. Sure. So, so yes, uh, you, you're right, but it, it is true. I mean, quantum mechanics is very counterintuitive, but we have tested its predictions on many levels, and, you know, actually this is one of the best theories that we have. No, certainly, no doubt about that, but it is complicated, it is something, and it's a lot of... It's a lot of stuff. Maybe it'll be reduced down to something even more simple and string theory, or who knows, but quantum field theory is, 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 a, is, a, is a lot of things going on it, to make that. And so if you start with that, that and you, you have a, a mechanism to generate a universe with, with geometries and everything else, but you're starting with something pretty rich. Right. Well, you start with some laws. Some laws. Yes. Yeah. So you're right. So the question is, why are there some laws? And again, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs>